Right then, I've got the little troll bridge near um, Shipham. I've just come down from there. Now fortunately there was a big herd of black cows that were in a copse with most of them sat down. They didn't really notice me right away. Most of them didn't notice me. And I was able to stay in the same field and creep by a, a hedge without disturbing them. They didn't, they didn't pursue me or anything. So, otherwise it would have meant going through a very a foot deep in mud, which are, are along another side of the fence, which was in a really, really bad. I mean, I'm already covered in mud, as you can see. And absolutely plastered in mud, glorious mud. <sighs> now, rather than when we get up the top here, I don't turn down into the village of Shipham. I don't really want people to see me like this. It's more crack my ear. Look, uh, I should be going up the top. There could be another field of cows yet. This, this is possible. Some farmers are keeping them out. So I've now got to get, I'm going to click, go under here and go around that side there because it's quagmire-ish there. So what I'll do, I'm just going to put the camera on there while I get under this. Oh my god, that's pretty boggy as well. Um, was it like that? Stone there. Right. Here I am, everyone, covered in mud. Look, look at my trousers. Absolutely quagmired. Yeah! 30th December 2019, and Sheila's on one of her last walks of this year. Oh, it's going down, the stick's going down a long way. We've just got to try and get out of this. Um, right, wait a minute. Can use the sticks as um, like brick stepping stones. There we are. I would say the muckiest part of the whole trip we've now completed. Come down from over that side, like I said. And uh, it's not cold, and there's no wind here. It's not cold, and I'm I can see blue sky over towards the coast area right over there. So Western is probably in the sunshine. Um, yeah, I thought I'd keep the Quantox for New Year. Some not not New Year's Day or anything, but first sort of week. I think I might go out. I will do. So then I've got to prepare Alberta for the MOT. Try and keep her clean and that. <sighs> right, we're nearly up. A steady little climb along this path now, which I've videoed many times, everyone. <sighs> I can probably take my hat off in a minute. Wow, yeah, the sun's coming out at last. <sighs> Let's check the time. It was 22, um, 10 when I started the walk after getting off the bus. It was 20 to 10. It's now quarter past 11. So that's taken an hour and a half. It doesn't normally take that long in dry weather, but I was having to dodge quagmires big time. Huge, huge puddles that was swallowed me up. Um, squelchy sinking mud. Uh, so that's what took the time. You couldn't just march along in that. I had to tiptoe. 
So it's taken me a long time. That's probably the longest stretch of the walk was the West Mendip Way. I've still got some hills to climb um, till I get in the wood. When I get to Robero Warren, I'm going to stop and have a drink and perhaps a piece of cheese, some crisps and chocolate. I'll see how it goes. I'm not really hungry at the moment. I had breakfast, cereal, toast and marmalade. I had two cups of tea and a lemon and ginger tea as well. So I've, I always do that, especially in the summer. You make top up with your fluids before you even go out. I learned that during the marathon days. They always said, don't leave it till you feel thirsty. Top up as soon as you wake up. Start filling up with fluids. So I, I take a leaf out of those early days of mine running, which would have been 30 odd years ago. Um, 30, 32 years ago I ran my last marathon actually. London Marathon. I'd done three of them. Loads of half marathons. 10Ks, 5Ks. Used to go swimming. Yeah. There was uh, marathon running days were good for my perseverance, I think. Allowed me to know that you can keep going, keep strong. And my drug is walking now. Don't need no pills, no pet pills. I like a glass of wine and a glass of port at Christmas. And an Irish coffee at Christmas. It's the only time when my cream levels will go up. And that as soon as the first day comes, it all, most of it stops. The cream, the whiskey, the um, port, it all stops. And I just have occasional wine. You can tell when you've been drinking though, you sweat more. You can feel it. You feel that glow. Not that I've been getting sozzled or anything. It's not that. It's just a couple of glasses with your meal. More than what usual. We'll be up near the busy Cheddar Road in a minute from Shipham. Dangerous road. Not safe to walk along this. Not, not until you get further down. There's no uh, pathway. Everyone seems to drive like maniacs on all these roads. When they get to the top, there's a stile. If you turn left, it takes you down to Shipham Village and the St. Leonard's Church, where my cousin Barbara in Canada has connections with the Wookiees and the Hells from the past. Um, so... Uh, and I'll be going on heading for Robert Warren and the area of outstanding natural beauty the next time I do this walk will be from a different angle so I like to do it from um, Sanford across the top there as well Right, we're emerging, folks. I might have a drink of water here, actually. Yeah, I think I will. We're emerging, folks. At last, some hopefully brighter weather. Right, over and out. This is Sheila. Going on for half eleven on the 30th of December, 2019. The last of the big walks of this year. Over and out.